San Diego's Jazz 88.3, and new music there from Tom Harrell. The great trumpeter, flugelhornist, composer, arranger, on a new release called First Impressions. Uh, some of the outstanding work there, Meg Okura on the violin, Wayne Escoffrey on soprano and tenor saxophones, uh, Charles Pillow, Danny Grissett, uh, Ugana Okeguo, Jonathan Blake also joining in on the new Tom Harrell release. First Impressions, the tune we were listening to there, Passa Kid. In front of that music from uh, Jeff Lorber Fusion, Step It Up is the name of the Fusion's new release. Uh, it's a collaboration with Jimmy Haslip, who did production work, a little bit of bass work also on this one. Jeff Lorber on bass and keyboards in the Fusion. The new release is called Step It Up, and the tune we were listening to was called Up On This. You're listening to The New Jazz Thing. My name is Vince Outlaw, and uh, we've got a great week of jazz here at Jazz 88.3. We'll be uh, doing a rundown of what's happening in the week in jazz in Hour 2 of the show this evening. But uh, right now, we're going to be uh, chatting with uh, people that are going to be making music this week in San Diego in particular. Matt Smith is joining us this evening uh, and uh, chatting with us about this week's happy hour at the Lafayette. This coming Thursday at 5 o'clock, we're going to be uh, having happy hour at the Lafayette Hotel. You can uh, come down and check out Matt Smith, New Jazz Trio. And uh, Matt is with us this evening. Matt, how you doing? How's it going, Vince? Thanks for having me. Good. It's great to, uh, great to have you back and uh, also joining us in studio to uh, chat about uh, some other gigs that uh, Matt is working on is a fellow who was with us uh, last year, I believe, um, to talk about his latest release, uh, baritone saxophonist Gabriel Sunday. Gabriel, uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks for having me, Vince. So um, let's, uh, let's start off, Matt, with uh, this Thursday. We're always excited when we can bring uh, Jazz 88 members and uh, perspective members and uh, listeners uh, into our Jazz 88 happy hour, and uh, it's great to have the new jazz trio uh, with us. Uh, tell us uh, who's in the trio. Okay, so this uh, Thursday at the Lafayette Hotel is uh, the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio, um, and we have Ed Kornhauser playing the piano, and uh, we will have Antar Martin playing bass with us that day. Uh, so, uh, and Antar is uh, sitting in for your regular yeah, Antar uh, bassist? Antar is going to be sitting in for uh, Mackenzie Bladen that night. Uh, so, t uh, tell us what you got planned for us on uh, on Thursday. Uh, we have a great night of original music. Uh, ones from uh, the album we have here, Shorthanded, and uh, a couple of new compositions as well. Um, stuff from Ed and stuff from Antar as well. So, it's going to be a fun night of original and arranged music. So, we, uh, we uh, were uh, together uh, a couple years ago when the new jazz trio released Shorthanded, uh, your release. Um, what has been going on since uh, 2013 for the band? Oh man, a lot has been going on. Um, we are currently uh, in the process of releasing a new record. should be out hopefully after the new year, um, you know, plus or minus a couple months. Um, but it's going to be a whole new trio record with uh, compositions from myself, uh, Mac, and Ed. So it's going to be a, a completely kind of different sounding, but I feel like at this point in our career and our relationship as a group together, we finally have at least hunkered down in some sort of a sound that we enjoy and we uh, can exploit to our fullest potential. So tell us a little bit about uh, kind of the origins of the New Jazz Trio. How did you guys come together? Um, the trio started in 2012, right after I graduated college. Um, I went to school in Orange County and I ended up coming back down here and I met Ed at uh, Gilbert Castellanos Jam Session when it was at the El Camino. Um, and uh, we met. I said, hey, come over to my house. I have a piano. I'd love to get together and jam. And at that point, I was just pretty hungry to, you know, to get in the scene that I kind of left for five years, you know. Um, so after that, Ed brought over uh, Mackenzie, and the group was born. And, and then Mac went out on a bunch of cruise ship gigs, which he doesn't do anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, he came back, of course, and uh, we started anew um, kind of six months after his contract got up, and... Um, since then, we've just kind of been going strong, um, chunking out tunes. We have a um, every Sunday residency at 98 Bottles, um, where we play um, an hour set, and then we open up for jam session. So, uh, as a group, do you guys have uh, some? What are some of the common uh, inspirations for you guys as a as a group? 
Um, I'd say our biggest inspiration is um, the Bad Plus, as mm-hmm. far as you know how they come at a tune and can really uh, build it as as uh, compositionally, musically, and emotionally as well. Um, so we like to take inspiration, uh, you know, from each each one of those um, very distinctive musicians and and come out and really just try to give it our all as far as you know the tune calls for. So, and uh, the Bad Plus uh, being known as a trio that is actually three equal members. It's not a Absolutely. piano trio Absolutely. or, you know, it's, it is three members uh, and is that kind of your uh, your ethos as you guys work together? Uh, we're all putting this in together as Yeah, the, the, the old record, Shorthand, was a lot of my compositions that I had in college and um, so I kind of brought those to the table and that was, you know, I, I guess you could say the, the leader record, if you will. But this next one is a big compilation of everyone's tunes and um and, you know as much as I like to talk about it it's this is everyone's everyone's group everyone gets the chance to lead in um in a trio which is to me one of the more special parts of um you know forming a group with some of your best buds excellent well remind folks uh, in your own words uh, where they're going to be seeing you this for Thursday before we get into a tune okay this Thursday it's going to be at the Lafayette Hotel from 5:30 to 7 is that correct? I think it's 5 to 7.30. 5 to 7.30. Mm-hmm. One of those. I knew I mixed those That's up. That's all right. 5 to 7.30 um, with uh, Ed Kornhauser, Antar Martin, and myself. Um, I believe the cover is $10, cash only, and it's 21 and up. So make sure you uh, get a babysitter that night and come on down to Lafayette Hotel and enjoy some great music. Excellent. And uh, you can find more information about that at jazz88.org. Let's check out a tune. Uh, this is Pack Your Bags. Uh, any uh, thoughts on uh, kind of the intro that we're going to listen to here? Uh, Pack Your Bags is a very special tune. Uh, it's about a very special someone, and uh, they know who they are. So there's a very uh, emotional thing in this particular tune. We'll be uh, right back in a second chatting with Matt and Gabriel Sunday, our guests this evening here on the New Jazz thing. Um, right here from the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio, their disc shorthanded from 2013. This is Pack Your Bags on the New Jazz Thing, San Diego's Jazz 88.3.
brakes on. San Diego's Jazz 88.3 and music there from the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio. Shorthanded is the name of the release. Pack Your Bags is the tune we are listening to. Uh, Ed Kornhauser there on piano. Mackenzie Layton on the bass and drummer. And our guest this evening on the New Jazz Thing, Matt Smith. Matt, uh, welcome back to the New Jazz Thing. Thanks for hanging out with us. Glad to be here. So, uh, we, uh, uh, the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio is going to be at the Jazz 88 Happy Hour this Thursday, the 1st of October, at the Lafayette. Uh, but uh, that is not all that you're up to uh, in the month of October. So, uh, let's do a rundown on a couple other things that you've got going on. You also are a member of the SoCal 7, and uh, SoCal 7 has a gig uh, this coming Friday. Uh, tell us, uh, who is the SoCal 7? SoCal 7 is a uh, collective of San Diego musicians um, that got together and formed a septet, um, simply said. But uh, even deeper, the, the underlying current of this group is that we all are writers, and uh, we all bring a tune to each rehearsal. Um, so, you know, if you do the math, that gives us seven tunes per rehearsal. Um, and we get to rehearse, you know, two or three times a month, um, if we're lucky. I hope everyone's listening and laughing at that one. Um, but uh, so what we get is this library of tunes that we get to pick from. Um, so we pick the best ones, and we put on a show. Um, we had our first show back in, I believe it was July or August. I think it was July. But And that was a smash of a show. Um, we got to perform a bunch of original and arranged music um, written by everyone in the group. Um, so if you come to the show on Friday, um, you're going to hear seven tunes, um, all from different people, but all with the same voice um, in mind, which is, it, in my opinion, one of the more uh, special things about the group is that everyone is kind of gets to write for each other. You know, if you write a tune or a chart for a publishing company, you kind of have to write to the lowest common denominator um, so it gets played, you mm -hmm. know, but with this particular group, you get to write to the strength of, um, everyone in the group. And, and if you, have, and if you've seen it before, you know, this is only the second time, but if everyone, anyone was there the first time, you know how special of a night, uh, that was for everyone that was in that room. So, so let's, uh, why don't you tell people who are in the SoCal 7? Okay. SoCal 7, top to bottom is... Charlie Arbelias on the alto saxophone, Robert Dove on tenor saxophone, Matt Hall on trombone, uh, Ian Harlan on vibes, Mackenzie Layton on bass, Ed Kornhauser on piano, and myself on the drum set. I just think you counted off eight people in the SoCal 7. I but hope I did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, where are you guys going to be playing? Oh, we're going to be playing at 98 Bottles this Friday, the 2nd of October. Uh, There's going to be one show. It starts at 8 and tickets are available at 98bottlessd.com. And uh, so that's uh, this coming Friday. You've got another gig coming up, a uh, special gig that you're playing with. Um, I believe he's a vibraphonist from, uh, from the Los Angeles area, right? Uh, from Visalia. Yeah. From Visalia. Yeah. Um, so the uh, above Los Angeles Correct. area. Yeah. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about Chris um, Coastgarden? Coastgarden. Course, Coastgarden. Yeah. Uh, Chris is a local vibraphonist here, um, went to SDSU, um, very talented individual, um, great group ear, and he has a bunch of tunes that he's bringing in um, to play with uh, myself on drums, Mackenzie Layton on bass, and Louis Valenzuela on guitar, and um, Adrian Gonzalez is going to come in and play a couple as well. Um, what it's does Adrian play? It's uh, tenor sax. Tenor sax. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a night of uh, entertainment. You know, um, as well as uh, musicality. Uh, if you've ever met Chris, he's um, certainly one to talk about. So, and I know he's listening to you, so I hope he's laughing at that one. So, did he uh, go through the music program here at uh, right. at San Diego State? Yeah, he did, alongside um, Ed mm -hmm. and Mac as well. Oh, so okay. And uh, and uh, Chris, um, is he a, a regular player up in Los Angeles? How did you uh, How did you get in uh, affiliated with Chris? Uh, it's funny, I remember meeting Chris for the first time at uh, a Monday night at Hennessy's. They had a, used to have a jam session 
um, at Hennessy's on Monday nights, and uh, we met there and ended up talking. And I said, man, who is this? He was playing piano at that point, and I was like, who is this piano player? He was dressed like, you know, to the nines in a suit. And, uh, and I said, who is this guy? i got to meet that guy. And uh, if I remember right, we've been hitting it off ever since. And uh, he had this idea of getting a show down here. And I said, well, let me, let me see if I can pull some strings and help you out. And uh, sure enough, here we are. At, uh, and it's going to be on October the 8th, also at 98 Bottles. Seems to be a common thing here, 98 Bottles. <laughs> what a great venue it is. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be on October 8th. And I believe... It will also be one show starting at 8 p.m. Great. So uh, it's uh, great to kind of uh, feature San Diego musicians as we like to do here on uh, the New Jazz thing and at Jazz 88.3. Uh, uh, even when they move away or they go through the program and then they come back. So uh, that's uh, another gig coming up. And then uh, we uh, get to bring in our other guests. Uh, Gabriel Sunday has been sitting here very patiently and, uh, and, uh, uh, and listening in as we chat. Uh, Gabriel, uh, thanks for again for coming back to the New Jazz thing. Oh, yeah, not a problem anytime, and thanks for having me. So, uh, um, Gabriel, you're going to be uh, putting together a gig uh, that uh, features Matt uh, also uh, coming up. So, uh, when is this? Well, I believe the date is October 15th, mm -hmm. correct? That's a Thursday, I believe. That's correct. I got that right? Yeah, yep. Thursday, October 15th, and then that one's also going to be at... 98, 98 bottles. bottles. Good. Yeah. I'm glad we're so. <laughs> glad we're featuring 98 bottles and the Lafayette tonight. Yeah. Uh, that's good. That's that's all good. Uh, we like to uh, make sure that those venues that are really supporting uh, San Diego jazz and doing that are uh, well represented here on the show on the station. So Gabriel, uh, this is a this is something that's uh, kind of I, I would imagine really special to you as a baritone saxophone player. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and uh, we had you uh, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, on the new jazz thing about a year ago when your Apple Brown uh, ensemble mm -hmm. um, had uh, your latest release out. What was the name of that uh, disc? Uh, well, the name of that group is the, Jap uh, the Apple Brown Jazz Ensemble, mm -hmm. and the name of the album is called uh, The Way On Up. Excellent. Yeah. And, um, and so you're featuring the baritone saxophone in this gig. Tell us the concept of this gig that's happening uh, the 15th. Yeah, so Matt kind of came up with, he, he was the one that came up with this idea. Right. He wanted to put on a show, a concert with his group, with uh, Mackenzie and Ed, and uh, plus me, featuring the music of the baritone saxophone. So we kind of just uh, shot back and forth a bunch of ideas, and so I think we dug up maybe, um, what did we come up with? Maybe we're going to play some Ellington, um, some Milligan, um, uh, uh, Ronnie Cooper, um, Harry Carney. Harry Carney, yeah. So, um, so Matt, then as a drummer, what's uh, what was the draw? Um, was it uh, you know Gabriel's playing, or is it a baritone saxophone thing? Uh, tell me kind of where the the genesis of that came from. Uh, I think first and foremost, it was certainly Gabriel's playing um, <clears throat> that drew me to that drew me to have that idea. Um, I know Gabriel and I have kind of talked back and forth about what um, and how we can you know help propel each other. And this seemed to be just, you know, a great way to do it. Um, uh, one of the underlying things of the, uh, the trio, my trio, is that I wanted it to be um, a band that people could come in, you know, for people like Jazz Live that are coming in, artists that need a, a hot rhythm section, and they could come in. And this is kind of uh, one of the first times that we've done it as far as featuring an individual. So what kind of my idea was that it was, you know, Gabriel Sunday plus the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you come together and, bar and the baritone sax, of course, is, you know, Gabriel's main voice, um, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, even though the last several years I've been playing more tenor than anything else, and so sometimes I get a little confused which is the <laughs> language I need to be speaking in, so, mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, and so, Gabriel... Um, uh, it, what is it like to play with, uh, with this band, this trio? Uh, I, I would imagine you guys have done some work together. Uh, and uh, tell me a little bit about how you fit in with the, the new jazz trio. Well, we actually haven't done anything quite like this yet. This will actually be the first time. But we've right. played together a bunch, either you know, at the 90 Bottles Jam Session or in other settings. Uh, you know, we just kind of jammed a lot and... I actually played a gig with Mac Friday night, and I, you know, played with the turf, play, played at the turf club with Ed, doing a like a jazz duo gig. And so mm -hmm. we've all played a lot with one another in different situations, different settings. Um, I don't think we've all just we've never formally came together yet. 
Oh yeah, and Juice Box. Oh, Juice Box is yeah. fun. That's right. And join the, them from time to time. Oh, okay. What? You've joined in. Uh, so another one of your <laughs> projects, Matt, is ju- Juice Box, <laughs> and so uh, you've uh, you've played with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just fun. just kind of just sitting in, just like rip uh, a show here and there. You know, play half the night. You know, half the set with them. And uh, so I guess this is probably the first time where we actually uh, put something together with the intention of. Uh, well, I mean. It was his idea to feature me. And right. Together. Yeah. As so one. It's, we're, all, we're, all, we're all working on it together. Right. It's not, you know, just kind of jumping in and playing a bunch of their tunes, but we're all going to kind of perform it all together. So remind folks one more time uh, where you guys are going to be playing. Okay, so. Well, I don't think we need to even know uh, where. We know uh, uh, yeah. if you guys are playing in 98 yeah. Bottles, 98 what's bottles. the win? And so uh, October 15th, okay. uh, what time does it start? Uh, it eight starts o'clock. at 8 o'clock. So let's just say October 15th, 8 o'clock, 98 Bottles. Matt Smith, New Jazz Trio, featuring featuring Gabriel Sunday, on the bar- featuring the music on the baritone saxophone. Excellent. And uh, Gabriel, where can folks find out more about you or connect up with you? Well, I do have a website. It's um, I need I probably need to rework it a little bit. It has a lot of old material mm-hmm. on it, and I want to kind of freshen it up with some of the newer stuff I've been doing. But uh, probably the best way to get in touch with me, or the best way to find out about what I'm up to, is Facebook. I mean, it's a uh, it's, it's simple enough, you know, I tell people where I'm playing, I put it up there, so all they need to do is just stop on by, take a peek, and find out if I'm doing any shows. And Great. Well, we'll make sure that we put a link up uh, from tonight's blog post on the jazz88.org site to uh, to your, your page. Um, and Matt, where can folks find out more about you and what you're doing? Um, same thing, man. Go to go to Facebook, type in Matthew Elton Smith, and you will find me, and I do post um, there quite frequently, as uh, many of my age group tend to do. So. Great. Um, okay, great. Well, it's great to have you guys on. Uh, keep pushing San Diego Jazz forward with original compositions and new aggregations and collaborations. That's the definitely the way to do it. Um, Gabriel, since we're going to close out uh, with um, a tune that you picked out, um, tell us a little bit about this, uh, this composition that we're going to be playing. Well, um, I don't know what to say other than I really like it. Uh, a friend of mine loaded me this album years and years ago. It was uh, Elvin Jones and Jimmy Garrison, I believe. Mm-hmm. And uh, it features Charles Davis on the baritone saxophone. And it was just one of the coolest recordings, the way he played it, with all these, you know, over, all this overblowing and false fingerings. And it's something I typically wouldn't hear from a berry player, at least from a lot of the uh, stuff that I've heard in the past. And uh, it's definitely pretty unique, and it's actually one tune that I picked out and I decided, you know, we have to feature this, this, this tune on the concert coming up on October 15th. Excellent. Okay, great. Uh, Gabriel, Matt Smith, uh, thanks for hanging out with us tonight on the New Jazz Thing. Yeah, thanks thank a lot, Vince. So uh, we're uh, closing out this uh, segment of the New Jazz Thing and uh, rolling into Hour 2 with music from McCoy Tyner, Jimmy Garrison, Elvin Jones. The disc is called Illumination and the tune Half and Half. You're listening to the New Jazz Thing on San Diego's Jazz 88.3. On San Diego at City College, Jazz FM 88.3, KSDS San Diego. There we go. This song rules. There we go. Okay, uh, (laughs) wave by. There we go. All right.